Guys, we're heading into what used to be Games World. Exchange World. <laughs> Sound. But in all fairness, it does look exactly the same. So it looks as though you have no reason to be worried. But we're going to go and check it out anyway. So uh, let's, uh, let's head on in. Guys, welcome back to Valium of Gaming. I've come to check out Games World in Hinkley in Leicestershire in the UK. I'm with the normal lot. I'm with my friends Mike, Neil and Garen. And we're going to come and see what, uh, see what retro gaming bargains we can find. Now, Games World has recently had its name changed to Exchange World. Um, and to be quite honest with you, I'm not 100% sure why, but I think it's just so people aren't put off by thinking that they only deal in games. Now, sure, all you've seen up to this point is a few DVDs, toys and games, but they, they are dabbling in other things. Around the back of the shop, there's push bikes and things like that. But primarily, they do still sell video games, so there's nothing to be concerned about there. It's still a game shop. But yeah, they've changed the name to Exchange World and kind of give the sign outside a bit of a modern vibe, which to be fair is kind of cool. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely kind of cool. It, it was perhaps looking maybe a little bit old, but they had a certain charm to it because, well, quite frankly, I've been coming in here since I was a kid. This, this is my local retro gaming shop. Um, I really don't want to mention CEX, but yes, there is a CEX in Hinkley. I don't consider that my retro gaming shop. Games World slash Exchange World is, and always will be, as long as it's open, my go-to retro gaming shop in Hinkley. And like I say, if you're ever in the area, I definitely suggest you go and uh, check it out. You never know what you're going to find. I mean, the other month I walked in there and it looks as though someone either earlier that day, the day before or whatever, had uh, swapped in a uh, Atari Woody and quite a lot of games as well. And so I snatched the Woody up, I paid £70 for the Woody and some of the games, although they didn't have boxes, they were selling for like £3 each and we've got a PlayStation here for 40 quid boxed. You know, Although we are looking at other things, toys and whatnot, you know, people like looking at that stuff too. But yeah, you're not, you ain't got to worry. It is still, at heart, very much a game shop. Um, yeah, I mean, round the back here, we have boxed uh, Nintendos. Well, I'm, the, the room I'm going into now, although there are a few games to the left, these are all DVDs. Um, so there's masses of DVDs, so if you're interested in collecting that sort of thing, there's plenty there. Obviously, there's your standard uh, PSN game cards and you know, stuff like that. So there's that. And then, and then we're back to PlayStation 2 games here. So wherever you look, there's, um, there's always plenty of games to rummage through. But yeah, the guys that own this shop, I've known for a very long time. They really are fantastic. And they're happy to do you some deals as well. So, so I don't think that uh, they, they, they won't look after you in that sense if you offer them a good price. They'll certainly consider it. But as you can see, there's just cabinets full of, uh, you know, decent stuff. It's all really, really, really decent stuff. I absolutely love this shop. And like I said before, for as long as it's open, I'll continue to support it. Here we go. There's loads of retro stuff there. There's still a few Atari games. I can see so it's left of screen. And yeah, loads of Nintendo, bits and bobs. It's all there under the cabinets and, uh, like I say, I'm checking this place out all the time, just in case someone's uh, come in to swap something out. Guys, honestly, it is an absolutely superb shop, and I highly suggest you come and check it out. Do not be concerned. There's Neil. There he is. You knew he'd make it in the video at some point. Well, although I think, to be honest with you, you saw him at the very start as well. So in a moment, I'm going to switch over to a little bit of native audio just to finish out the video. So guys, honestly, I am back in the YouTube game now and I'm going to be seeing you extremely soon for more retro gaming videos. Guys, let's switch over for the last bit of the video. Take care. Oh, good bro. Yeah.
Yeah. yeah. You got that? You know what now? I have. Well, I've got that, that and uh, that. What are you going to have? I love the. Uh, What's that collector's edition? Um, what do you get? Inside of the uh, dark fruit. Yeah, the, uh, the dark fruit. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, the uh, dark fruit. Yeah, the 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 dark so it's good to see, mate, that um, Games World's exactly the same as it used to be.